you a piece of paper and give you a chance to help out of the school. Feels good to be out of the house. <laughs> I like happy days. You're really great with the children. Well, I've always loved them. I'm surprised you and Mr. Barrett haven't started the family yourself. Well, we've talked about it, but it never seemed to be the right time. It's after being so busy with the bank and all. There he is, Marshal. Let's get him over there. Come on, Marshal. Let's get him over there. Hold on just a minute there. What's going on here? I get my money. You wouldn't happen to be getting anybody else, would you? The fellow here seems to think you're robbing the bank. He is wrong. Everything all right, Mr. Brown? Everything's fine, Marshal. The man's just leaving. He's not going to be coming back. I go where I want now. <clears throat> Walter, I was so worried when I saw him coming out of the bank. Somebody's got some explaining to do. I think I'll start with you. Man, Florida? This friend told me, Yanni Sakasu, that five years in prison, they fell off. What kind of name is that? Sounds like something I want to rate for selling. <laughs> Tarkasi and his wife came here seven years ago from a place called Poland. Settled on a farm right outside of town. Soon after they got here, there was a fire and Tarkasi's wife died. And he was arrested the next day. What would be a man to do something like that? No one knows. Witnesses saw him drunk in the saloon the night of the fire and said he was in a foul mood. The jury took less than a day to convict him. Well, why would he come back here? Seems like the last place I'd want to be. Ruth's husband said he had only five dollars in the bank, but he still had his land. Where else was the man supposed to go? Some place where people didn't turn their backs on. <laughs> he did his time, Jimmy. Maybe he counted on people giving him a second chance. Unless he does something wrong, that's exactly what all of us are doing. 